So my project and paper is going to be on prohibition legalization and like what we can learn from it today. I picked this topic because you see it a lot in the news today, and it's um, especially especially I want to go to school out west where it's even more of a hot topic than it is here. So my topic is the prohibition of the 1920s and all about prohibition, why, what caused it, it the results, mainly the results from it, and what we can take from that and what we can learn today, and how we can apply that to the legalization of marijuana. What have I found out so far? So, so far, I've learned mostly about the prohibition. The main justification for it was to help protect women and children and their families because against men who abuse the alcohol. The main law against it was the 18th Amendment, which outlawed it. So in the results um, after Prohibition and from Prohibition where that crime went through the roof, a lot of uh, organized crime grew and just it became that every an everyday citizen would commit a crime. And ton many jobs were lost because uh, alcohol production got closed down except for medicinal purposes. So what we can learn, so what we saw from that is that it, it was human nature because it was such a big part of everybody's everyday lives that when it became outlawed people would do whatever they needed to to get a hold on it. And we learned about it, the effects on crime and its effects on jobs and the economy. So how, we can, how can we apply this to today? How can we apply this to today is um, we can apply it through legalization, which I think is a very similar circumstance because it's, a, it's in a lot in today's society. And what we've seen through the legalization in Colorado and like Washington is it's created more jobs, the crime has gone down regarding that. And what I hope to find out is more about how the like economy would be affected by legalization and like how it has been so far in those few states where it is legal and um, more about the history of marijuana and, and then more about the effects the prohibition had on crime because I think that was like one of the big things it had was on crime. And that's it.